So what I've done is I have gone and I've used a combination of wrenches and ratchets to actually pop all of these, all these 14 millimeter bolts loose. And now where I can, I'm going to cheat or I'm going to go a lazy man's way and I'm going to use an impact to pull, the, pull them out. There's a couple of them that you definitely can't put these on. where the impact is so much nicer. It's half your life. It's forever doing this. off but the stud stays in. I've had situations where the uh, where the stud actually works its way out but it, it works out it works itself out enough that I can still actually get the cover off. So I got all the bolts loose. There's one, two, three, four. That's including the stud on the one side, five, six, seven, and eight in total. What I what I like to do is I like to take them out and I also leave them out in the order that they came. So that I don't mix them up and make sure you watch any clamps or brackets that may be on them as well. And, here we go. and here's one of the stud ones that I was talking about. Uh, that's why I took pictures. And this big one at the bottom. And I've already taken the nut off for one. So we're good. So that means that this, this whole outside case from this intermediate plate back is loose and it should actually come off depending on how tight it's going to be on there it shouldn't be too bad to do I mean, and it's coming in straight away so jiggle 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 and there she be to so get your case off and you may notice that I I did drain the transmission and everything before I took it apart otherwise I'd be having one heck of a mess so I guess step one that I missed mentioning is make sure your transmission's empty So, once we have it, I can turn this around, and this is what I mean in terms of having the vehicle in neutral and having all your shift levers line up, because when that one, when this piece went into the trans, when it goes into the case, it actually lines into this slot, and as you're moving it, it's actually pushing these levers back and forth based on what gear that you're trying to go into. So that's why it's nice to have it in neutral and have them all lined up when you take it apart. So, once I take a look here, looking at the gears, because I am doing an inspection, this top one looks great. If I take a look at this reverse gear, the reverse gear looks really good too, so there's no issues with it. Even looking at, it's taking a quick little visual inspection with the uh, sync, synchromesh. That actually looks pretty good too, so this 
section actually looks really good. I don't see any issues with it. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next step. The next step I have this high-tech fancy schmancy garbage can that I use to help support it while I take the other side of it. I've seen pictures where people use great big honking vices, which would be great, but I don't have one. So I'm just kind of using what I got. And kind of layer down there. There she be. Down. Wonderful. So, next thing is use our 5 millimeter bolts. We'll break them loose. Then I'll use the impact on them. See, I think you can. Start taking them off. Let's see if I can get a better angle. So I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, okay, I repositioned the camera. And now it's time to pull those two retaining rings that actually hold the upper and lower bearing in place. And then you slide the screwdriver. So what I use, I use a pair of um, snap ring pliers that actually are normally spread open. And what I would do is I would use that to pry it apart enough that I can get the screwdriver in. A lot of times it takes me a few tries. Still didn't get it. There we go. And pop it off. And do the same thing with the lower one. Just like that. So there we go. So, take the two rings off. Add them to the order. So now, there's nothing else that's actually holding this cover on. Because those bolts that we took off from the, uh, from the other cover, bolt all the way through and they actually hold the two covers together with the intermediate plates in the middle. So we should be able to actually just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle and pull. The whole trick though is there's this little triangular, there's a little half moon hole here. And if you look down through that half moon hole, you can actually see there's a part of the housing that sticks in that actually interferes with a gear that's right on this one end. So you actually, when you pull off the cover, that's how tight it is. Oh, mine wasn't very tight. And when you pull it off, you actually have to kind of jiggle the cover and maybe even push this gear out of the way so that you can slide it off. Just like that. And there you go. And there's the stud that we were talking about earlier and you have it apart. So what I've done is I actually just took it off of my little garbage can 2x4 setup and I made myself a little jig where I just found myself a couple little pieces of angle iron and a couple of bolts and allows me to actually support the, tr the transmission without it, without it kind of laying all over the gears. And this allows me to do the inspection that I want to do. So we've already inspected, we've already inspected this section. This section looked all right. But we know there's an issue with first and second gear. This is your, here's first gear, here's second gear, and here's the synchro mesh that's right in between. Here's third gear, and here's fourth gear, and here's a synchro mesh in between there. And then this, this lower shaft here, I think it's, I believe it's called a counter shaft. And it just actually runs backwards to the upper shaft. The upper shaft has all, has all your shifting, the lower shaft doesn't. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to start by inspecting the gears working my way back on the counter shaft. And I can actually see there's actually this, 
There's a couple of teeth here that have some chips out of it. It's unlikely you can see it on the video, but there is some teeth that are chipped out of this counter shaft. And if I work my way around, uh, it looks like there's probably about two or three teeth that might have, oh, two, two or three teeth that look like they're chipped. If I look at the next gear, rotating it, that next one looks good. The next one that's right on below second gear. Ah, it looks good too. I can't really see that next one. Can't uh, see it the best I can, and it's fine as well. And there's one more further in, but I can't see it. Um, if we start looking at the top ones, we start with fourth gear. And as I rotate. Fourth gear looks pretty good. And then if I go to third gear, third gear looks all right. If I go to second gear, well, second gear looks okay. And first, first gear is kind of hidden under the cover. And if I kind of look rotate. First gear looks okay. Okay, so the gears on the upper first, second, third, and fourth gears all look good. On the bottom, unfortunately this is one big long shaft, and so because this one has chipped teeth, you pretty much almost have to replace this whole lower shaft. That wouldn't be the issue of the shifting. The, is the issue of the shifting would be this synchro mesh up here. Now one of the things that I so this, this synchro mesh up here, gee, I gotta make sure I steady where I'm going. So that that's, would be the issue. The thing that I found is when I pulled that cover off, I ended up finding uh, a few little pieces laying in the bottom of it, which are these guys. And what those are, are those pieces are part of the mechanism that go in the synchro mesh. I think they're keys in the synchro mesh. And even when I start looking at when I start looking at some of this, these this, these um, what are they called? Synchro mesh rings. When I start looking through the brass synchro mesh rings. This one actually looks okay, but when I looked at the front one, if I can get things to shift, the front one actually didn't look very good at all. And I'm sure that those keys that I have that I can't that I found when I took the cover off are from this first and second gear synchro mesh. So that is the issue that I'm, that is it, the issue with this transmission is the the little rings or the these synchro mesh brass rings are wore out and it's also looks like the synchro mesh itself might be slightly damaged inside or I need to get a few more new keys is what I'm going to have to probably get. So that in a nutshell is actually how you pull the cover off the transmission and you do a visual inspection. Once you have it open, don't be afraid, like if you can, don't be afraid to start moving these things back and forth. And you can see how you move the middle one, it actually puts it into fourth gear. You pull it ahead, it goes into third gear. The lower one would be, the lower one should be your first gear, but it's not moving for me, which is probably part of my issue that was going on. Oh, it's not moving at all. Oh, there it goes. And then once I did that, I can see, I can actually see all kinds of damaged brass in here. There's all, yeah, there's a bunch of gouges in the brass. And I'm going to try to get a picture. You can see kind of this little hole right here. And that's where one of those keys are supposed to go. So the key's actually broken right out of this, this whole synchro mesh unit between the first and second gear. So that, folks, would be the issue. So this transmission is going to need a rebuild, and that will come at a later date.